Hello, my name is Jessie Hurley and today I'm going to teach you how to tie the perfect bow without using any fancy tools. My customers have been bugging me for years to make this video for you, so finally we're getting around to it. You don't need any forks, you don't need any spatulas, wine bottles, bow easies, whatever tool you think you need to make the perfect bow, all you need is good instructions and your hands. So. Here we go. We're going to do it right-handed first, then we'll do it left-handed. To begin with, I am pinching my ribbon together with my tail facing forward. The key to this is to always keep your ribbon flat, never twist it. We've got it between our thumb and finger, tail forward. We're taking that ribbon and we're crossing it over our thumb to the left side. When it comes around the back, I'm going to pinch the ribbon together. Again, I'm not twisting it, I'm pinching it flat together, and I'm tucking it into the hole made by my thumb. Holding on to my bows, I'm going to pull as tight as I can. Then with my thumb, I'm going to hold the knot to pull the tails in to make my bow smaller. Hold my bows, hold the knot to make it smaller. No sweat. Let's do that again. The tail is forward, perfectly flat. I go across my thumb and around the back, keeping it flat, pinch my back ribbon together and tuck it into the hole made by my thumb, pull my bow tight, hang on to my knot to pull the tails in, pull my bow until I have it how I like it. Let's do it left-handed. The thing is the same, we're keeping our ribbon perfectly flat, our tail is still forward, but in this case I'm holding it in my left hand between my thumb and finger. The back ribbon is going to cross to the right over my thumb, come around the back, and pinch together again, no twisting. It's going to tuck into the hole made by my thumb, and I'm going to pull the ribbon tight. Holding on to the knot, I pull my bows tighter, and again hold the knot to adjust until I have the bow how I like it. Perfect. Now, grow green is nice and easy to tie with, however, the width of your ribbon doesn't matter. We'll go to this wider, fluffy ribbon. The same thing, I'm keeping it flat, crossing across my thumb, pinching together, tucking it into the hole, pulling it tight. Oh, that one tried to get away from me. Hold on to the knot, yank my bow until I have it how I like it. How about sheer ribbon? Same thing, I've got my tail forward, flat, cross my thumb, around the back, pinch together, tuck through the hole, pull tight, hold on to the knot when I pull the tails, hold on to the bow when I want to get my bow perfect. And just like that, with a little bit of practice, you can make perfect bows too, and you don't need any special tools. Have fun making bows, and let me know what you think.